Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today is an important video, the most important one of them all, because of my extreme greed. Today, I'm giving away something for you. That's right, I want to benefit all of you, especially those in Ukraine. So what I'm doing is giving away this heavy equipment in the form of 15 special NFTs for $75,000 each. Now, before you say anything, you can be the owner of this equipment in the form of 12 NFTs or however many I said. These are limited run. I only made 12 of these. I, I only took 12 pictures of this heavy equipment. Now this was 300,000, keep in mind. So for 75,000, a third of the price of the excavator, you can have a picture of my excavator. And there's something called, what are they called? Gas fees or whatever to transport the pictures. Cause it takes some electric to send the pictures to the wire, would it wire the picture to you. However they do it, I, I can just airdrop it or text it too. But there's a PayPal um, or just send me money and you can own this heavy equipment in the form of a pic. There's also, a limited run of one picture that I took of this rock. It's actually, or a video if you want, I can send it to you. It's $200,000. Well, let's start with this. As you all know, I'm a working man. I have heavy equipment. I need a pair of work boots that's gonna fit my lifestyle. Because I don't have, because I don't have work boots. I have no work boots. You see that little foot? I need something over. So guess what we have here, everyone? You know what we have here, Seth? Yeah, Red Wings. Yeah, let's see what Seth's got on. Yeah. Get that off my table. Sorry. We have some Red Wings here. Now, you know why I don't like Red Wings? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I, I went to lace them up, and the laces broke because they're freaking strips of leather. Dude, I like maybe the boot's good, but I never got a chance to experience that, like a $300 pair of boots or something, I think. These all broke, and they're, they're tiny pieces. We already ripped them all up because I was, like, furious with anger. What? Dude, they all broke though. I broke all those by hand. Like these, this brand new pair of Red Wings. And like, they're also super heavy. Oh, isn't this supposed to bend right when you're working? Like, yeah, that's a little dude, stiff. Dude, it's like three inches thick, dude. What is this? It's all my force. Put your they foot in this, like you're gonna be walking like this all day. You're like, we gotta unbox them. You can be here for the video if you want. Okay, yeah. He wants to see his eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, I have not unboxed these yet. I thought $100 pairs of shoes were like crazy expensive. That's why I ordered a pair of $12,000 shoes. What we have here, I have not even opened them this far yet. $12,000 pair of shoes, work boots. I placed the order for the $12,000 shoes. My card got declined five times, so I tried another card that wasn't mine. I finally have the Air Dior's, and I will show my, my receipt here on the screen. It's from Stadium Goods. They don't sell garbage, and they're not reps, they're not fakes. We're gonna figure out why these shoes are $12,000. I would not assume this on a $12,000 pair of shoes, but there's just normal like labeling. Okay, magnet, oh, magnet in the box. Okay. More paper. You can see my receipt here. My total was $11,921. So it was under 12K. So I, I made out pretty good, I feel like. What was shipping? Oh, $900 in taxes. <laughs> oh. I had to pay $862 in taxes. Wait, it comes with an, a thank you note or something from Dior. This must be France. This says $18,000. All right, let's open them up. What do we got here? <clears throat> okay, they come with a nice, some soles. The soles aren't in them, I guess. Gonna up close to these bad boys. Okay, looks like we got right off the bat. Got a nice pair of boots. Comes with a little, a small man. It's a small man keychain. Is that a ball? And a a bag for your work boots. Okay, so we got a nice clear sole here. Who's here? American Express. Dude, if that's American Express, tell me. Yep, that's them. So we got a nice check mark with a lettering, some lettering on it. There's a basketball. Um, You're like cool. manhandling these shoes. Cool. I find it funny if you go into a store that sells these shoes, 
and you go to pick it up, you go to do this, they're gonna be like, oh, <gasps> oh my god. Anyways, this is the the um legit legitimacy logo. I guess that means they're real. Oh, the small man fell off. That was twelve thousand dollars. They think that their shoes are worth so much just because they have this check mark on. What amazes me about shoe people, like I'm not personally enraged against any of you yet. You haven't given me a reason to. They all seem pretty chill. No one's sent me death threats. But I'm genuinely curious, what makes a pair of shoes worth twelve thousand dollars? Says non-slip sole. Seems like a grippy sole. I'm curious to see also how the platform works. Is it durable? Or does the shoe bend like it should when you need to walk? Does it bend properly? Like if I need to actually work and get things done, if we bend it here, would I be able to walk you're, like a normal You're gonna crease them. Without what? You're gonna crease them. Yeah, that's what I mean. Cause, so when you bend your foot- But you don't wanna crease the shoes My though. shoe bends with my, but my foot needs to bend to work. It should be insulated too for what I paid. Foot's all muddy. Crap. Dude, those are like one of one. Oh wait, hold no, it's not one of one. It's there was eighty five hundred of them, so we're good because I can just this is only three thousand three hundred and seventy nine. They have social security numbers on them still. It's probably worth a lot. I'm really excited. That's oh yes. That's gonna go good with my Adidas socks. The laces didn't break like the others when I pulled on them. I noticed. So that's already one thing. Better than the Red Wings. For when we do roofing, I don't want to slip. Oh, it's hard to get in there with all the mud on my sock. There's like ventilation holes in these. So that's one thing I'm noticing. Are these steel toe? Too much. Can you oh, feel no, it? That's not, they're not no, steel toe. Not steel toe. I think they're going to bend really good. Oh, I can't believe you just done that. What we're going to do now, we're going to do the ultimate crease test. And that's to see how well they bend in the middle at the toe. Because when you're wearing a work boot, the proper work boot will bend with you. Yeah, very good bendy. I'll put this like this. All right, pull forward really slow. All right, keep coming. Yeah, it's really good. Drive, just cruise on over them really fast. Dude, oh man, did you bounce right back up? Yeah, it's, it's from Come right so back flexible. up. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that. No, holy cow. What size teeth are these? Uh, 11 and a half. Yeah, it might fit. Try digging a small hole really slowly. Really slow. Okay, curl it a little. Curl it this way. Yeah, okay, well, okay, all right. Oh, hold up, stop. I think you stretch it out a little bit. Hold, might wanna back up. Pull it straight up. Oh, ooh, that doesn't, ooh. oh. Uh -oh. Hold up, I think it might be. No, I think we're good. <laughs> oh, super durable. I think they're good. <laughs> so good. What? <laughs> I don't think we ripped it at all. What? You probably could have probably could have dug an entire hole. They're probably dude. They don't even crease though. I bet they don't fit good anymore. <laughs> I am. I was not expecting I that. I'm I did impressed. think the crease test. I thought they were gonna just like. I don't know what I thought. I did not think they'd spring right back. Like, you can't even tell that they're creased. Nice! Nice! Cool.
Oh, there it goes. Oh, see, yeah. look at it come out. Yeah. Ah, dude, there's a rock in there. That was in there. Why did it come with that? That's a bunch of rocks. It was that was in there when I got it. Oh, that's doing perfect. Oh, yes. I thought there was a road here. I, w I was a... Uh... I was here baiting deer to hunt with. I put that corn there. It's not even hunting season. Baiting's illegal too. Be the hunting season's not even here and you're baiting them? It's April or March. It's March now. So I was hunting. And I got several nice bucks here too. It's illegal to bait. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I got like five. That's like 30 years in jail. But no, I saw, I was walking along this and I found like a huge, or I, there was a huge deer over here. And I was like, I don't want to trespass to get that, but it's a nice deer. I jumped over the fence. I admit. Right. Why, why would you trespass? You stole their deer. We put out this corn. I just put it out for like to bait them. And apparently I own this entire woods. So I thought I was trespassing and I accidentally walked onto my own property. So this whole woods is mine, which is really convenient. And we're going to see the hiking qualities of the Air Dior work boot line. We're just going to walk through here and I'll hit you guys up in like two hours. Dude, this is so pretty. Look at this. Holy cow, I didn't know this was here. The barbed wire rip. I ripped the barbed wire. Oh, yeah. I was climbing over, I climbed over the fence and I ripped the barbed wire when I climbed over it. Yeah. Just got done with day one of work with the Air Dior's. So we are gonna wash these bad boys. I gotta lie, they don't look that bad, really. Dude, what is going on with this shoe? Oh my god. What happened? What happened to our Air Dior? So these went through the washer four times and the dryer twice, four times on high heat. The stains are a little laced. The toes are not creased. That's right. They didn't crease. Even with the excavator running over them, they did not crease. This is the one, dude. Can you tell that right now there's an ex a 60 inch excavator <laughs> bucket? It uses to, it it to dig a hole. It has a tongue guard, a tooth guard to yeah. dig a hole. I should have the osseous look where the laces are like this. So. <laughs> I'm still, I'm, I'm I'm still in impressed. shock. Yeah. Did they seriously from, like, dude? From what I did to them yesterday, you have to admit they don't even look that bad. They like, really don't. It almost looks like they would they're... be unwearable by now. Like, yeah. I thought they were going to instantly fall apart. Well, I didn't know you were sticking underneath the track. I thought this was going to be the dumbest video in the world. Though. They look brand new in camera. <laughs> uh, so, screw all the people that said I couldn't skateboard just because I'm wearing a skull shirt. Day four of our construction project. The creases are holding up really good. They're creased really nicely across there. We're gonna see how fire these shoes really are. Oh, nice. Okay. They're holding up. I do not feel heat yet. There's no heat on, on my toes. I do not feel any. Okay, the laces are starting to catch there. Yeah, we got some lace fires going on. Uh, 
Um, I don't know how this is worth, like, like some, some rapper somewhere has two pairs of these and one is daily and one is his collectible pair and he never wears, like, and he thinks that they are the sh I, I don't, I gotta admit, I don't see the value really. Like when I touch this, it feels like a, <laughs> you know what this feels like? Oh, shoot. This feels like a La Quinta in couch cushion. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> It does. It feels like a La Quinta and couch, couch, couch cushion. Yeah. Um, we're gonna lace these up. We're gonna use weed eater string because then when I'm weed eating, I have extra string on hand. Wow. Look at that. Dude. That actually works. I'm gonna set these here. As you can see, they got some slight soil. Heavy soil. I've worn these boots for a solid 10 days at work. Hard. 10 days. We wash these shoes about 10 times because I, I rewash and rewash them, put tons of fabric softener and everything I could find in the washing machine you to clean these. You can smell it, yeah. You can, oh, you can smell them already? You can kind of smell, smell the, the softener. Oh, you can, dude. They, <laughs> they smell fresh. All right. After all, all we right. did to these, this is what we have. You're never, you're never gonna believe this. Like, it's like I open it, there's just dog crap all over. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, dude. Look at these. Look at these, after all we did, we haven't worn these laces yet, but look, like, dude, it's untouched. I did, like, I never in my life expected this. This was the most like unexpected. Dude, dude, there's not even, like, they're barely creased. And that's where you did a burnout dude, dude, we did. on them. <laughs> it blows my mind. Like, this is barely stained after, dude, we, these were under, like, mud for 10 minutes straight. Like, in, in mud, just doing this. Yeah. And, and, and I'm talking, bike. like, I just threw these in the washing machine. It's not like I took any sort of steaming or anything. Like, these are just in the washer set on fire this this shoe burnt for 30 <laughs> seconds and you can barely tell it. barely tell it unbelievable i thought nike was going under like i thought that company had exactly that's that's boot. what i was hoping for but i thought they nike sold their last perfect. work boot so this is where i'm faced with a decision or there's a steamroller out there and i kind of want to put on a time lapse and have the steamroller go over them for the next five hours okay i'm thinking about it <laughs> what would it do well if, i mean under what would what could that possibly do to a nike We'll put it under the steamroller for five hours and do a time lapse. Because right now we've only drove over with a bulldozer. Like, it, we've done nothing to these. Right. Like, that's what they're made for. So, like, what if we actually abuse these? All right, so we got this compactor here. It's a sheep's foot. So it's got these big knobs on it. So it's probably going to do some damage. We're shaking. They bounce right back. an hour in they were gone they disappeared i think there's one here no the funny thing is i don't think there's any damage oh i got this one Ooh. we're gonna need at least one more gallon of fabric softener for this one where's that other shoe at <laughs>
<laughs> I didn't oh, what did I right say? Here, I think. No, that's a rock. Dude, it's buried bad. They're hot. <laughs> They're literally warm from all the friction. But I am noticing one thing, and that's that nothing is ripped at all. You can get that out, probably. I think it's gonna come out, I really do. Just enough. We're gonna add just enough to get by there. Never mind, I was putting it in the wrong spot. I'm supposed to put it in here. That should be enough. I am actually extremely impressed. Their shape is almost back. Insane, like like there is some wrinkling in the back here. You'll have that when you run over with a seam roller. This is insane, like there is some staining too. I might bleach the sides of these. There's no stitching ripped or anything after all that. Like, like if anything, these shoes are just more broken in, honestly. Like there's no damage to the threads or the joints here where the leather goes together. They're literally still perfectly in one piece. Nothing is falling apart at all yet.